basically, this is the sense of behind the cat. Pen 60. And my input. It's reading what's coming out of the catalytic converter. Pen 61 is the ground. And pen 62 is the heater. Again, 1, 2 means bank number 1. And the 2 means behind the cat. Now, you can have more. Now, I'm saying this car has about 4 2 sensors. 2 on each side. Another rule to remember is. The highest number, like 1, 2, 1 slash 2, 1 slash 3, 1 slash 4. The highest number is always behind the cat. Because some cars have 6 or 5 or 2 sensors. So if I got a 1-4 or a 2-4, that means, and that's the highest number, that means that's the one behind the cat. <clears throat> So these two sensors, 60, 61, 62, are behind the catalytic converter. Next one, 63, is my power steering pump. Input that compensates for engine load from the power steering. Increase the airflow, like when you turn the corner, I have a bit of load on the engine. My signal from my power steering switch closes, tells the PCM I'm under load and the PCM compensates for that load. Again, power steering switch is here. Here, which connects to this power source here. Once you turn the steering wheel, uh, I'll put pressure, a uh, high pressure on that line, that switch closes. It goes into the power steering pump, circuit 63, touch the computer, the vehicle is under the load. Next one, 64, brake pedal position used by the PCM to release the torque converter. That's, that's number 64. This one right here. You can see it's a switch. Power again. Goes to 1064. Completes the circuit. It helps control the torque converter clutch. It helps release it. The next one down, 65, my AC on off. You know, same thing, high pressure, switch closes. Uh, AC request. I'm oh, sorry, my AC request. So I'm requesting AC. The switch closes, AC operates. Then 66 and 67. This is a Hall Effect or optical type sensor. So it's a three wire sensor. I get my power. It's going into the sensor. It's coming out that sensor and eventually gonna find the ground. It's usually gonna find the ground back down probably going to the DLC connector to the next diagram. And we have our input from the sensor. So cam position sensor one and cam position sensor cam position sensor number one bank one and camshaft position sensor bank two as terminal sixty six and sixty seven. Like I said, it could be either Hall effect type sensors or optical 
optical sensors. Pen 68 is my mass airflow sensor. Mass airflow sensor airflow into the intake manifold on pin 68. Here. So it's my airflow into the intake manifold. Now let's go to the other side of the chart. Pin 34. Which is here. That's for my all sand generator. That's a piece of plus a duty cycle signal to ground the fill windings for the alternator output on like a voltage regulator. That's controlled by the PCM. Now, here's my actuators on this side again. Now look at this. Here's my power source. And remember, this is coming from, if you flip your book back, you see, this is coming from diagram number one, number A. This whole side, side, is high. And it each going to, a, each wire on that high side is tied in to an actuator. You got pin 35 to each yard. Pin 36 to EVAP, pin 37 to purge on the EVAP, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and 43 is the injected triggers. So you can see here, This whole side, the ground side, would go, would shift over to the PCM. Those terminals there, all grounds for all those actuators. And these are your individual actuators: EGR, EVAP, solenoid, vent solenoid, per solenoid injectors. Once the computer sees the right conditions are met, it controls the ground side. Simple as that. Forty-six and forty-seven. Here is my two wire twisted pure communication network lines for my CAN system. Okay, let's switch. Let's switch. Let's switch the screen. Last one, three or three. Pin sixty nine seventy. My power to this transmission control module. TCM. And my transmission control module, TCM. So 69 centers to power. Now at 80, we have transmission fluid temperature sensor at 80, which is 5 volts. Also a An NTC type sensor. Right. The I should say the Mister NTC the Mister. Eighty one and eighty two vehicle speed input sensors. Again, a magnetic type sensor. It generates a signal that increases in frequency as the engine speed increases. In a TCM transmission control module. Uh, 
using the VSS for those up shifts and down shifts for shifting. So the ECM, oh, this TCM is going to use this thing for shifting. I guess a magnetic type sensor also, can you see the positive and negative? Oh, I'm trying to get a highlight for you. <laughs> Let me try another one here. Oops, bad drawing. Oops. That's a positive negative there, vehicle speed sensor. And here's a sensor over here. That's your vehicle speed sensor there. Inputs on A1 and 82. And my pen is acting up. Hmm. Let's go to 83.84, which is uh, my turbine shaft speed used by PCM to control the torque converter clutch. Used by TCM for the clutch. That's on 83.84, transmission turbine shaft speed. As you can see there, that's the input into the TCM terminals. Now the next one is my transmission range switch. It's a six position switch. 85, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90. It indicates the position of trans transaxle manual lever. You can see it's on B, C, D, E, F, and G. Each one represents a different position. And you can see the power. The power is coming from Q69. And goes over to your transmission range switch, as you can see here. Pin ninety one.